Welcome to the Let's Talk Bulls podcast. Welcome back, guys, to Let's Talk Bulls, your number one Bulls podcast in Chicago. My name's Quentin. I'm your host. And if you like what you're seeing, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit that bell notification so you're notified when I drop more of these videos. Now, with that, we're going to talk about today Alex Caruso being traded for Josh Giddy and what he brings to the Chicago Bulls. We're going to break it into a couple things. One, how is Josh Giddy going to help this team? What can he bring to the Bulls that can push them forward into the future? Two, we're going to talk about does this signify AK actually making changes? Does it mean we're not running it back one more time? And last, we're also going to discuss fans and how they feel about the trade in itself. A lot of people have issue with us getting rid of Alex Caruso, but we're going to talk about why I think it was something that had to happen. So first up, we're going to talk about Josh Giddy. Now, Josh Giddy brings a lot to this team. He's a pass-first point guard. And honestly, at his age of 21, he sees the floor better than most people in the league. He makes some passes that only leave you in wonder. And it's something that can be compared to Lonzo Ball when you look at him on the fast break. He's one of those players that if he gets a rebound and takes off, he can always look up the floor and find the open man. Now, that's not where it ends, though. He also is a great rebounder. Josh Giddy standing at 6'8", is a tall point guard who can get after it on the boards, and that's something that does help his fast breaks because at any point off a missed shot, he can go up, get the rebound, take off, move it down the court, and find the person he needs to to get a transition basket. And that isn't the only place it stops. He also is going to be a player who can get to the rim. Now, this isn't as consistent as his passing, but with his size, he does understand how to move towards the basket, hitting floaters, layups, and getting himself as close as he can to getting fouled. I mean, he still struggles with getting to the free throw line, which is something with his size and his way he attacks should be a lot easier. But that's something that will come with time, just like his shooting, right? And this is where a lot of people have the issue with Josh Giddy, and that is he's not the best shooter. Last year really signified that where he struggled from three, even missing open three-point shots. But that's something the Bulls will have to work on. They have Peter Patton. They've been really working on trying to develop their young players and getting them to a roster who can shoot more. This is one of those moves where you see that they're maybe banking on teaching Josh Giddy how to shoot, kind of like Lonzo had to get taught his shot. But I do think that if Josh Giddy can learn how to shoot the three consistently, it will change a lot for how his offensive game goes. And last, the other issue with him is his defense. Josh Giddy is great at passing the ball, but he's also great at getting passed by on the drive. He's not a great defender. He's pretty much a comb which is why he didn't play a lot of minutes in the playoffs for the Oklahoma City Thunder. He got his minutes diminished a lot. Part of that is due to Shea growing, Chet becoming such a good player, and the Oklahoma City Thunder started to see such growth in the young team that Giddy's position just kind of got pushed aside. He became more of an off guard as opposed to being the point guard. He also became more of a third, fourth option, as opposed to being the one of the number one options on the team, like when he got drafted originally. Now, I do think that when you look at this team, when you look at what they have, he will bring a lot to the Bulls. He's going to give you size. He's going to give you passing, IQ, and a want to be here. Right, He wants to have a chance to show what he can do, and that's something that you have to hope that the Bulls really give him an opportunity in the future with. Now, that brings me to the next point. Does this mean that AK officially has given up on running it back? Continuity is gone. Competitiveness is most likely gone. The Bulls found a new C word, and that is change. They might be making a change and finding a new roster, trying to go younger, letting go of some of the pieces that they've been holding on to for so long. And this was a first step in that. A lot of that shows with the fact that they traded Alex Caruso and didn't get a pick, right? AK in his press conference said that he thought it was a fair trade. 
he thought that they got something. OKC got something. Um, but it seems like one of the things where he just wanted to make sure they got a player that they thought was going to be with this team for years to come and also got the team's age down where they're really looking to rebuild. Now, do we honestly know if that's the complete truth? We don't. We still have DeMar, we still have Vooch, and we still have Zach. So only the future would tell, but we do know that it looks like DeMar will most likely not come back to the Bulls, especially with the Bulls' draft pick in Bruzelis. That kind of signifies they might be moving on from him. You know Zach has terrible trade value, so we're hoping. Uh, but hey, we might have to keep him to the trade deadline next year. But it's something where it's starting to seem like everyone is up for grabs, and he said it multiple times. Everything is on the table. So with Giddy being traded to the Bulls, I do think that this was the first step of them saying, no, everyone is available, including Caruso, which so many fans did love so much. And that brings me to the last thing. Why do so many people hate this trade? Right, A lot of Bulls fans are not happy with Alex Caruso being traded, especially for Josh Giddy and not getting a draft pick. And when you look at teams like the Nets, and the Knicks trading for players. Bridges goes to the Knicks. They trade like seven draft picks. Every trade this year has had draft picks except for the Bulls, and that does make a lot of fans wonder why. We traded with one of the teams in the league who have the most draft picks to spare and got nothing from it. And honestly, in my opinion, hearing AK talk about this trade was fair kind of pissed me off. I don't care if it's a fair trade. Ask for a pick. OK, ask for something more. You don't have to be fair. There's a lot of trades that aren't fair. It seems like they're super determined to make sure they get as much as possible for Zach, as much as possible for DeMar, as much as possible for Vooch. This was a chance you could have got a draft pick or two. And OKC okay, probably wouldn't have cared as much to give it to you. And you didn't really try that much because you thought it was a fair trade. That pisses a lot of people off. But I will say I'm also on the side of people where I understand why they traded Caruso. I don't think he should have stayed on this team. Caruso's an amazing player. He shows effort. He's always going after it 150%, but that's not something this team needs. We need to tank. We need to be bad, okay? Next year, we have a draft pick that will go to the Spurs if we do not get a top 10 pick. Trading Caruso helps you step up to that line. Getting rid of DeMar DeRozan, which we most likely will do, will help you step to that line and you want to keep that draft pack next year's draft is going to be a deep draft with a lot of prospects if the bulls are not going to go anywhere we're not going to be a good playoff team why not just play worse and get a better pick which will help your team move forward into the future so i do have an issue with them not getting a draft pick but i do not have an issue with them letting alex caruso go to a team where he has a chance to make them a contender and also has a chance to actually play for something he actually has a chance to show what he can do and have it be for wins and not just this weird continuity statement that the front office always wants to push. So with that, what I want to do is I want to hear from you guys. Let me know how you feel about this team going forward. What do you think about the Josh Giddy trade? Do you think it was a good trade? Do you think he will help the team? And what do you think will happen with Kobe White now that Josh Giddy is on the Bulls. We're going to also make some videos coming up in the next week talking about the Bulls' new young core. We'll also talk about their draft pick from this year. But with that, I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember, if you did, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. We're on our way to a 1,000 subscribers, and I hope to see you guys join the family. With that, I hope you have a wonderful night. I'll talk to you next time. Peace.